Hi, and welcome back to the Unsquared Circle. Let's turn things over now to the Diva Detour. Thanks, guys. It's great to be back. Now on with the Diva News. Trish Stratus was asked which past or present female wrestler she would like to have a match with. Trish responded with, I think a match with Natalia Neidhart or Beth Phoenix would deliver some serious stratisfaction. There is plenty of speculation, even amongst people who work for WWE, that Trish will return for a match against Beth Phoenix for a match at WrestleMania 25. Her comments in this interview certainly add fuel to the fire. According to a fan in attendance at Candace Michelle's autograph signing in the Atlantic City Boat Show in New Jersey, she refused to sign copies of an issue featuring her, featuring her appearance in Playboy three years ago. Ashley and Massaro is apparently hinting towards a possible return in the world wrestling entertainment. A blog posted on her MySpace account on February 8th. Also in Diva News, it's being reported that two fans said that WWE diva Maria was involved in a slight incident with a crazed fan at her autograph signing at the Washington Auto Show. A fan apparently ran up to Maria and was a bit grabby and reportedly tried to grab her breasts. Thank God security was there that they pulled the guy right off of her. Raw diva Candice Michelle has talked about her current status with the company. She said that she has been working on some new moves and that she's disappointed in her lack of televised matches. Also, she's expressed interest in being drafted to SmackDown in the upcoming WWE draft. She has been inactive for the last several months due to an injury and a re-injury of her shoulder. Also, TNA has shown interest in former WWE diva Victoria. TNA has been seeking a good worker who could be a top babyface. The status on her WWE contract is unknown, but if WWE allows this, she should be able to go to TNA in about 90 days. But it remains unknown if Victoria wants to sign with TNA yet. Well, that's all with this Diva Detour. Until next month, back to that guy junk. Now we're going to have a promo from our sponsor, Underdog Industries. Technologies. Technologies. This month's edition of the Unsquared Circle is brought to you by Underdog Technologies. They fix it because all you can do is break it. Alright, on to my news. Petey Williams is now a former TNA star. He was let go because they did not, TNA did not renew his contract, which is why they had a loser leaves TNA match not too long ago, and he lost. And speaking of TNA wrestlers leaving, X Division wrestler Sanjay Dutt is the latest wrestler to part ways with TNA. His contract was coming up in March, and the two sides weren't able to come to a terms on a new deal. It is being reported that Sanjay Dutt has shown interest in joining the WWE. A source has also said WWE has been very interested in working with the former TNA star. Um, speaking of TNA, TNA wrestler Sheik Abdu Bashir, <coughs> bless me, um, he married his longtime girlfriend on, of all days, February 14th, gag. A number of WWE TNA wrestlers, past and present, were there in attendance. And um, according to wrestling, according to PWI Insider, the animal Batista is on schedule to make a full return in early August, which means darn, he's going to miss WrestleMania. And um, the high-flying Evan Bourne, one of my favorites, is scheduled to make his return to the, the ring in March from his ankle injury. And last of my news, on a, bad, on a bit of a sad note, Diana Moody, wife of former WWE manager Paul Bear, whose real name happens to be William Moody, um, she died um, on her sleep on February 1st. And I send my condolences to Paul Bear and his family. And on that note, that is the end of my news.
All right, well, let's move on to our final wrap. It is being reported that Shad Gasper was not used in the Royal Rumble match last month as it was a message for him to improve. It was earlier reported that WWE officials were a little upset that Shad isn't up to the standards that he should be. There are feelings that Shad could hold back JTG's potential in the company if he doesn't improve. Also, CM Punk was interviewed in a Cash for Questions section in the latest issue of WWE Magazine. One of the questions asked was, Did the Miz steal your nickname as in CM for... Chick Magnet? Punk responded with the following, Come on! Why would I have such a ridiculous nickname? If you must know, CM is short for Chicago Made. End of story. Also, w WWE superstar Kane, whose real name is Glenn Jacobs, sent a letter to former Secretary of State of Labor Robert Rich regarding comments he made on CNN's State of the Union show that aired on the Sunday of the Super Bowl. Jacob said, You said that the government's first priority should be to expand a social safety net, which will cause money to go directly into circulation. Historically, government welfare programs have been wasteful, inefficient, and corrupt, and eventually collided with. All in all, Pr Professor Rich it seems to me that your arguments defy logic and common sense. However, as a prominent economist, public publicity expert, and opinion voter, I'm sure you can explain what I am missing. I anxiously await your reply, and if you do not reply, I will set myself on fire. As reported earlier, KOCH WWE's Canadian DVD distributor has a listing for the three disc DVD set on the Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah! The scheduled DVD release is legit, and the title of the product will actually be Macho Madness, the Macho Man Ultimate Randy Savage Collection. Dig it! It is scheduled to be released on Tuesday, June 9th, 2009, and I'm very sorry for the crappy Macho Man impersonation. Oh, I'm going to get the DVD. Speaking of old wrestlers who should let things go, Eric Bischoff said that he and Hulk Hogan were approached several times to join TNA Wrestling, but says uh, being part of the company would have limited their ability to make an impact on their business because of TNA's lack of creativity and vision. Neither of us were interested in TNA. It's a small organization that doesn't have much vision, Bischoff said in an interview to the UAK Sun. The best way to describe it is like WWE light. There was nothing exciting for Hulk or myself. And just to add, Hulk Hogan said, Yeah, they wouldn't let me be the main person, brother. And if I can't be the main person, I don't want to be part of it, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that wraps things up for this month. We are your hosts. I'm Bobby Black. I'm Wrestling Wide. Good fight. And good night. <laughs>